Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tyler DeSantis and this is my YouTube channel. So, okay, so it's a really, really important message today because, like, God made sure I let you guys know this morning that, listen, to sin means to miss the mark. What is the mark, okay? The mark is a target. Who, okay, so basically you're Cupid shooting an arrow at your fucking self because you're that target. You're this bullseye. That's why Taurus is come second in the astrology Aries first the fire the lights the arrow to shoot the Taurus you know what I'm saying so Taurus is that bull that ox that whatever and all these religions but the target um or this calf or bullseye or whatever that innermost piece is you it's you finding yourself and it's really important that you find yourself in this lifetime because you need yourself to ascend you can't move out of this realm without your kundalini awakening with yourself and you finding your partner so it's really important we do this so how do we do that we need to vibrate in our highest um in our highest vibration so that we are all happy and then we can just manifest our partners to us faster like a fucking magnet but okay so now with the religions and all this shit i'm gonna break down the tower of babel for you guys really quick when they took, after they had killed Jesus, they ripped his clothes apart, right? And they all took little pieces. That's what y'all did with the religion. That's what that's basically saying. Like, it wasn't clothes, it's a metaphor or a parable or whatever. So, you guys are going to call it fucking Islam. They're going to call it Buddhism. They're going to call it Christianity. They're going to call it whatever the fuck they want. Y'all each took your piece, and now you're casting lots on it to see who gets into heaven. Who gets that innermost piece? He said the only thing that was left was his undergarments, and it stayed intact. His undergarments was his soul, his innermost piece, his God piece, okay? Now... Um, that unborn piece is your virgin spirit. That is the part of you that's never been born on this plane. That is the part of you that is always pure. That is the part of you that everybody fucking has, no matter who the fuck you are. Okay? So, God is not these things that we see. God is the invisible spirit encompassing everything, this energy of love that will love you no matter if you're a killer or if you're a child rapist. And that's just how what it is. God loves everyone and they, God wanted to share his love. So, but I think there's lower gods underneath there and there's levels to this shit. I don't exactly know how it works, but I just don't think we should be worshiping other things when we have, Jesus told you the kingdom of God is inside you. So you need to worship your own spirit, your own self. Stop trying to fill yourself up with things outside of you. Look inside and see like, um, what am I missing? Oh yeah, my fucking self, <laughs> which is God, which is your higher self. They're all the same thing. So stop trying to fill yourself up with drugs, alcohol, bitches, other people, social media, uh, movies, cars, kids, whatever the fuck you're doing to distract yourself from finding you, stop. Because right now, we're like, this is like crunch time for everyone. Because some people will not go on to this other realm. You'll be stuck here in this third dimension with these robots. And I don't think you guys are going to like that very much. So, anyways... So this triple male androgynous mother spirit, this holy whore, whatever the fuck you want to call it, in the Nakamati, they, she like goes by that and all this shit. She's both sides. She's Eve and Lilith. She's the holy and the whore. She's the, um, she's both the independent woman and the mother. She's both. Stop splitting this bitch in half. That's why they always tear Jesus' clothes. That's why Tiamat gets split in half in the Sumerian religion. That's why Adonis' clothes get split. You guys constantly keep dividing Jesus up, dividing the bitch up, dividing Jesus up, dividing the bitch up. Stop dividing them. They're not, divi like, people aren't in halves. We're whole, okay? <laughs> like, let's keep us a whole. And that's why even the Hebrew Bible says, or even the fucking regular Bible says, like, evening was first and then daylight. And that was the first day. But the evening came first because you had to go through the darkness first. We didn't go through the light first. You had to go through the darkness first. That's how you learn your lesson. That's how you learn anything. You had to go through the darkness first. Stop judging people for going through their darkness. Let them be on their path and you be on you, your path. And let's all resonate in our highest vibration. So... Listen, once you start to have your kundalini experience, your Holy Spirit come to you, whatever you want to call it, you start seeing yourself in everything. Some people take that as, thought I was being, I guess people took that as me having ego, but I was just trying to explain to them in the only way that I knew how, which was by explaining it 
with my life that my life added up with Jesus and Mary. And I was like, oh, look, you see, but they didn't get it because I was explaining it, that it added up with my life. But I was trying to tell you guys that it's going to add up with your life, every single one of you. I don't know how your life fucking adds up with it. You have to do it yourself. <laughs> so everyone's ever in the world, life will add up with this. Every single person, because we're all the same, and since self is looking for self, and the lover just wanted to make it be loved, to share some fucking love, and see its fucking self, and when you meet self, that's when you can see yourself in everything. That's you seeing this pattern of the entire world, okay? That is us going with this God's fingerprint, this Fibonacci sequence, this... Um, us expanding out and spiraling out with the universe, that's us being in this spiral pattern or um, the spiral galaxy because we're in a spiral galaxy. So that's why shit keeps repeating over and over and over and over and over. And history is his story. And until you can see that like everything is this trinity or whatever here on this plane, you have Father, Son, Holy Spirit, uh, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Martha. Heaven, hell, purgatory, or earth, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But each of these things, right, they're all separate things. But God makes up all of them. Because God is like this invisible zero energy type thing in the middle of the triangle. You have to look up, like, Hermes Trimista, Trigisma, blah, 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 blah. Google it, and you'll see that, like, he breaks it down pretty good. So you have... So God is not just one of these gods. You have God is the creator, the preserver, and the destroyer. And those three make one, even though they're all separate entities, because God encompasses everything, even though we can't even encompass what the fuck God is, because it's an invisible spirit that made all of us. Okay? And so how you see this pattern is through these streams of energy, and that's how you can start to connect things, because God is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. What is God? Um... Mm, the bird is the word, and the word was with God from the beginning, and was with, and blah, 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 blah. I don't know the rest of that, but it's John's, and so this word is your vibration, that's why they say raise your vibes, when you raise your vibes, you raise your, like, ability to manifest, your vortex becomes bigger to suction into your manifestations, like, everything, like, seriously is insane, it doesn't make sense. I had no idea this existed until you dogs start falling out of the sky and birds start talking to you and you start thinking you're Cinderella and you start getting winning the lottery for fucking $600 and millions. My friends just hit and then all this good shit starts happening to you. Yeah, like the shit's real. I can't even make it up. It's too real. So anyways, the spiral galaxy is going into this lenticular galaxy, which is where we're at. Because the galaxies follow this spiral pattern, just like the astrology, just like us, just like atomic atoms on an atomic level, just like whatever. It's a sliding scale because we're spiraling out with the universe and expanding until we hit this lenticular galaxy, which looks like a vagina. And then it's going to birth us into this ecliptical galaxy. And the ecliptical galaxy is a round galaxy that's made up of lighter elements. Because our soul is only seven elements, and this is why we're able to astral project. This is why you can break your yoke to your body when you have, like, it's basically an umbilical cord for your spirit because it happens on every level. So, anyways, I came here to bring you this message to tell you, choose up, bitch, because God's done with y'all shit. It's ready to, like, okay? Everyone, be good people, have a nice day, mind your fucking business, vibrate fucking high, don't get too caught up in the bullshit, subscribe, like, fucking do all that with my channel, comment, whatever, go to my website, tylerdesantis.com, get a tarot reading, um, yeah, check back in later in the week for more videos, and next month for your signs, bye!